All right, welcome back uh, to, to, to my channel. I'm Yoshi on the go, we do stuff, and today we're doing stuff. What are we doing? No Time to Die, Black Widow, Mulan. Got some good trailers to react to. Uh, we're gonna hit up my boy, James Bond, first and foremost, obviously. Oh. Norman's eating his breakfast. All right, very exciting. My, my, my parents and I have been having a James Bond marathon um, that we started like in May, <laughs> just watching one new James Bond movie every other week. And we just finished Skyfall this week. So we'll be totally done next week with Spectre. And then next year, April 2nd, we got No Time to Die. Daniel Craig's last outing as James Bond. Very, very exciting. Um, and hopefully my dad can make it. He's been kind of going through some cancer stuff and it's not looking good. So I have no idea, but if there's one thing to motivate him to stay alive, it's James Bond. So hang in there, dad, you got this. Let's watch James Bond together one last time next April 2nd. Let's react. Let's go. Oh, Aston Martin. Why would I betray you? <gasps> She's back. We all have our secrets. We just didn't get to yours yet. Uh oh. Jeez, I just watched uh, Knives Out. Daniel Craig with a, a southern accent. Alabama Peach. The world is arming faster than we can respond. Where's 007? I need a favor, brother. You're the only one I trust. <gasps> Felix is back! Well, it's moved on, Commander Bond. You a double O. Two years. Oh. So stay in your lane. You a double O lady. I'm totally all for that. With the new double O, you know, the new James Bond soon to be cast, recast uh, in the next year or so. Um, people saying having a lady James Bond, like, ew, no. Having a double O lady agent, however, oh yeah, that's awesome. And so we already got that right here, I guess. Is she a good guy or a bad guy? I will put a bullet in your knee. I don't know. The one that works. I thought you two would get along. I thought you two would. Money Penny's back. Bond. James Bond. So you're not dead. Hello, Q. I missed you. <laughs> it's the most valuable asset this country has. If you feel yourself losing control, I'm not going to lose. So James, that just has a whole lot of mystery. Gave up everything for her. Oh, it's him. When her secret finds its way out, then be the death of you. So wait, he was the bad guy in Spectre, right? So that's cool that the bad guys kind of make a reappearance and that they don't have to rewrite the book every single time that they kind of have that history that they're building off of. I'm pretty sure he was he was the bad guy last one, right? What is it? You don't know what this is. James Bond. I just Life want a happy ending key. for Daniel Craig. He's Yo! That's so cool! Driving through the river. I could be speaking to my own reflection. Only your skills die with your body. Mine will survive long after I'm gone. So we're stuck under ice again. History is kind to men who play God. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yo. It's bulletproof dummies. Cool. Bringing back the, the 60s and 70s Aston Martin. Oh! Yo, so there's a few things immediately that I've noticed. Um, the color palette is much more uh, neutral and gritty. Well, it's always been gritty, but like in Skyfall and Spectre, uh, I feel like the color palette has been very uh, neon poppy. Uh, very, very uh, oversaturated. And this one is much more practical. I guess there's that fire that's blowing up there. But uh, 
like this, this could be super crazy blue and super crazy green, but it's just kind of normal blue and normal green. Still beautiful, very beautiful, and very practically shot, but it's not like crazy oversaturated. I need a favor, brother. And the only one I trust even this neon bar scene is, is just muted and, and careful. Oh. Is that, is that a Bentley? What is that? My goodness, that car is magnificent. Wow. Pretty good. I didn't hear that before. Pull it, put it bullet to the knee. Is that a reference to Skyrim? Taking an arrow to the knee? Oh, I took an arrow to the knee. I'll put a bullet in your knee. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's funny. So. The one that works. I thought you two would get along. So she is a double O agent. Name? Is she re Bond. retired or is she still a thing? James Bond. So you're not dead. Like, oh, snap. Oh, I missed you. So you're not dead. Well, as we know, uh, James's hobby is resurrection, so no, he's not dead. He's the most valuable. This looks like San Francisco? Asset, this country. But I don't actually know. As, if you feel yourself losing Blofeld. control. Oh, Blofeld! That's right, he was, okay, so he was, yeah, he was Blofeld in the last one. That's crazy, because like the first Roger Moore and who's the first James Bond? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. What is your name? <laughs> Sean Connery. Oh, heck. <gasps> Sorry about that. I, I know what I'm talking about. Just, whoops. Blofeld had a much more prominent role in the, the earlier 60s and 70s Bond movies, and we saw him uh, reappear several times. So I guess that makes sense that they, you know, one of the most iconic Bond villains of all time would, in fact, you know, have more of a presence than just one movie. And I can't remember. What's her connection to Blofeld? Is that like her granddaughter or something? Or... James, you gave up everything for her. When her secret finds its way out, it'll be the death of him. The death of him? You don't know what this is. So she's some sort of informant. She's got some information that's uh, pretty important. License to kill. That's this that this is a really cool shot. Look at that. That's really cool. I don't think have we ever seen a, a, a car chase over water? Like that's pretty cool. I think that's new for for Bond at least. Looking forward to that. Lots of classic motorcycle play. And this is very interesting where he's in the spotlight. So is this like the bad guy singling him out and then all of a sudden everyone's just like, oh crap, it's James Bond. Or, are these like bad guys? Or are these terrorists? Like what's, I'm very curious to find out what's going on here with the spotlight situation. Hmm. Your skills die with your body. Mine will survive long after I'm gone. History isn't kind to men who play God. <laughs> also the the it seems like the locations are also very practical like we're not just going to this big bright awesome neon city just because we can because we're james bond oh there's the explosion all right every james bond you have to have an explosion let's look at that oh beautiful is that an oil tanker rig maybe <laughs> this this is this is this is yummy this is very yummy mm, look at that very interesting. Some sort of un underground water processing sewage treatment plant type of thing, maybe. But then got all the neon lights and then the people in red. That's that's uh, that's unique. This is the best part. Don't they know anything? <laughs> so I know I know the Daniel Craig Bond is is basically a total reboot, but I do have a theory that I think it's actually a, still a continuation and James Bond is only a code name. But then this, this James, his first name happens to actually be James. 
I'll have to dive into that theory later. And because he can't move the guns, so he just donuts. <laughs> because he's James Bond. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. I think I have that font. So, yeah, I mean, obviously, um, wow. I'm a huge James Bond fan. Uh, my dad raised me right. So, uh, hang in there, dad. Kick cancer in the butt, and let's go watch another James Bond movie next April. All right. Well, what do you guys think? What's your favorite James Bond movie? Who's your favorite Bond? Mine's Timothy Dalton. Hands down. Not even a competition. Thanks for watching my channel, and uh, now we're going to go do uh, Black Widow. Season 4 begins. Or Phase 4 begins. All right, thanks for